Good, good morning. It is Sunday. Um, what is it? April 25th, I believe. I think. I'm not for sure. But, um, out here in the goat area. And Maisie. Maisie has lost her ligaments. She's in there with Mama. And so today's the day for Maze. I've got her pen fixed. Got her out here for right now, just letting her do her thing, be by herself. Well, I guess she's not really by herself. She's with her mama. But uh, I'm kind of not wanting to separate her just yet. She, um, you know, she's, she's relaxed. And that's what we want. But I wanted to give you guys an update. We've moved Panda in here with her littles. Sadly, we've lost one. Um, the first little boy, Sherman. Christy, our daughter named him Sherman. That The first one, little black and white buckling that was born, he was so, so tiny. Anyways, um, he passed in the night last night. So, you know, um, if you if you follow us on Facebook, you were alerted to that this morning. Not, uh, not something that, not something we've ever had to deal with. Um, we've never lost a born alive kid. Uh, I, I don't know what happened. Um, came out last night and <clears throat> to, to check on Maisie and of course went in and checked on the babies and he I'm not gonna say you know was jumping around playing he wasn't he he was laying down picked him up felt him he had a full tummy his mouth was warm you know I, I don't I don't know what happened anyways um, I worried about him um, I worried about him because you know in a couple weeks we're going on a 1900 mile journey and he just seemed like one of the weaker ones and was something that that did concern me um, so anyways we we lost him something we've never had happen here before we've never lost a born alive kid and it, it's I, I don't even know how to process it it's it makes me a little nervous and now to have Maisie, you know, in labor, um, to say that I'm not, you know, a little stressed <laughs> would be an understatement. But anyway, so we are going to be on baby watch today. I'm checking her every hour. She's lost her ligaments. And when I came out at seven, when we came out at seven, she was off by herself. So we're just going to keep our eye on her. Um, right now, every hour. Look who's in the kidding pen. She's not very happy about it. But I came out this morning and noticed that she had lost her ligaments. And uh, was out. Oh, it's 9.30 now. I was out at 8.30, quarter to 9, checking on panda's kids and happened to come out of the pen and she had a pretty hard contraction this one did Maisie and so I uh, made the call to put her into the pen and you can see her tail is a little got a little bit of a hook to it and she's having a contraction And so we're just going to keep her in here. It's a it's a rainy, yucky day today. And I sure don't want her trying to have these kids outside. So better to be safe than sorry. I've anticipated this breeding um, back in the fall <clears throat> whenever I first thought about breeding her and Panda. 
<clears throat> we knew we were moving and I knew in the back of my mind there was a good chance that we would have to um, sell smoking that that we wouldn't have the opportunity to take him with us <clears throat> and so um, I've researched and did a lot of reading and um, watched a lot of, of different uh, breeders explain line breeding and I felt with Maisie we had um, the correct confirmation that uh, that she hit all of the the high marks on, in my book anyways um, and so we line bred her back to her sire which was smoking I really 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 like what he's produced um, and like I said Maisie is exceptional she's got good feet she's got a good brisket she's correct height she's got good width thorough to thorough she's just everything she's just her top line is real good um, everything is just real good on her and I would love to tighten um, her line which is um, which is um, Sunview Farms um, she's got exclamation uh, uh, Texas Twin Creeks she, she's just got all of those good lines and then we've got the Primavera with with smoking um, and I want those lines real tight in my herd so this is an experimental breeding this is a first for me um, I know that there are some that that don't like line breeding um, think that you need to keep your lines separated and, and you know that's fine everybody's got their own opinion of things um, and you know no harm no foul it's that's that's up to each individual breeder but as for me I I wanted Smokin's lines real tight in our herd and and this is one way that I can do that um, and so I did so that is why I am highly highly anticipating what uh, what we're going to get you know whenever it works it's called line breeding when it doesn't work it's called inbreeding so there's only one way to see none of her kids will be offered for sale if she does have um, bucklings I would offer them as weathers <clears throat> but um, any does if I'm so lucky to get a doe will stay with us um, until at least after their first or second breeding just to see um, where we're at so anyways that's that is the story of Maisie and her breeding and now we just wait and see where we're at let you guys watch her have a couple of contractions maybe I get out of the way What's the matter, Maze? Stop tweeting her. Hey. Yeah. Christy's feeding her through the door because I guess we feed when we're stressed. <laughs> we eat when we're stressed. That explains it. This last year. Now she could be far off or she could start kidding in 30 minutes. I, I don't know. It's been a busy morning and dealing mentally with the, the loss of the little buckling. Um, I don't want to miss any signs that we may have with her. So I'm just going to sit out here for just a little bit and just kind of gauge how she's acting. It's, uh, it's about 9.45 in the morning, and uh, we just put her in the pen. Just because I noticed she had a pretty strong contraction, and uh, I didn't want to leave her out there with the rest of the girls, just in case. Um, she's a lesser doe, so I didn't want her getting bullied out of a pen or out of an area and 
I like for them to have their privacy, their space. We moved Panda over to the smaller pen. So, with her babies. She needs to be brushed again. You still haven't lost all your down. Yeah. But for some reason, well, I'm sure any woman out there that has had babies knows. <laughs> she, my does, I've noticed this year, this is a something they will stand here and they absolutely love whether it's easing contractions I don't know but uh, so far every one of them have liked that okay guys it's 10.30 a.m. And uh, she's been standing with her head up against the wall quite a bit the last hour. And Jeff's out working in the shop, so I thought I would just come out and spend some time with my girl. Because Jeff doesn't need my help. So, just going to come out and watch her for a little bit. This is a good time to bond with your doe. Um, Maisie's always been a very friendly doe. She went through a little bit of a touch-me-not period in the last, oh, I don't know, couple months. Uh, probably three months. I've really been working with her, giving her extra treats here and there. And uh, just this last month, I've noticed a big change in her. She's She likes my presence, and <clears throat> I like that. I Having a standoffish doe, especially during this time, can sometimes be a problem, especially if you need to, to be close to monitor them. And, you know, Maisie's a first freshener, so I want to be close. I want to be out here in case there's any issues. So, don't, you know, I'm not going to say I don't suspect there will be. I hope there won't be. Um, her mama was an easy hitter and I expect the same, or hope for the same, I should say. Don't ever say you expect things to go well, because that's when they won't. nervous mama over there. Babies are out wandering around. Everybody's out back except for Panda and her kids. And they're getting out and getting their sea legs. They are so cute. We're going to have to think up names, you guys. So, you know me, I like very unique names, you know, nothing like Sally or anything like that. I, I want good, strong names for these kids. That little girl right there is just precious. No, I'm not naming her precious. Don't ask. I'm not naming her precious. I am going to be keeping my eyes out for these guys. We're, uh, we're wet and rainy today, so I want to make sure that everybody finds their way back to their pen. Mama's a nervous Nelly. But everybody's eating and drinking and pooping and peeing, so...
What are you going to do? What are you going to do? When I came out, she was laying in the corner. So, but now she just acts like she wants some lap time. I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys, it is 11.50 um, a.m., and I've been working with Jeff out back, just checking on her every 30 minutes or so, and uh, her contractions are getting a lot stronger, and she's laying down more, so I'm going to sit out here with her for 15 or 20 minutes and just watch her. Watch how she does. I really noticed. I really noticed her sides are a lot more sunk in. Um, the last time I, she was standing up back here, and she's really sunk in on the sides. So, just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna stay out here for a little bit and just watch her and see how she does. You can see sometimes they take a little, there's a lot of pressure back there and uh, she's staying squatted for quite a while. So that tells me something's in the works when they stay squatted like that for an extended period of time and you know her contractions, her contractions <clears throat> are um, a little bit harder and so anyways it's it's happening it could happen in 30 minutes it could happen in three hours but uh, I just I'd like to see her I've come out several times and she's been laying down but I would just kinda like to see what she does see if she kicks her leg out Okay, it's at this point. I am not going to leave her. She's obviously uncomfortable. She's not pushing, per se, but she's breathing heavier. So, we'll just watch her for a little bit. I'm going to charge my camera. My battery is dying, so if I can get a good 5 or 10 minute charge on it, then we'll be right back. I think we're getting close. It is now 1.30 and uh, she's been doing a lot of up and downs. I 
this is about the fifth time she's gotten up and went back down. Pay no attention to Panda. Her kids are right in front of her, but apparently she can't find them. Anyways, so that whole doe codes of honor, you know, it's going to work out. If I go in, she's going to pop kids out, so I've warred with myself. Should I just go in and put her on 30 minute watches? And I can't do it, you guys. She's made herself quite the little nest there. And she's been up and down quite a bit. So I'm still going to sit out here. It's 1.30. We started this at, what, uh, well, whenever I came out this morning, I knew she was in labor, but she's just going to keep me guessing. Who got this, Mama? Oh, good girl. You got this. Good girl. Good girl. You good girl. It's all right. It's all right. She would scoot if you would turn around. Well, you did this to yourself. You put yourself in that position, silly. It's all right. You're all right. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, I know. They're 
there's the face. There's the face, I see. You got it. You got it. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> see the face? There's the hoof. There's the hoof. Good girl. Get that head out. Yeah. You got it, Mama. Good girl. Good girl. That looks like a black baby. You got it. You got it. It's good. I know. It reminds me of Jenny. You not exposing myself. You got it. Good girl. Come on. That's a big one. The first ones are always. Mama. could see that his head was a little stuck and so I moved her so I can get behind her and I just gently pulled down on the legs and that was just enough to release his head. That is a big baby. Oh my, goodness. my goodness. Good job Kalani. Look at Kalani. Maisie. Maisie. She's automatically just cleaning him off. Good job, Mama. That was a big baby. I'm gonna squeeze right here behind you. He is beautiful. And sneeze it out. Good job, Mama. That's a beautiful baby boy. My goodness. Good job. Would you take that towel and just here? Just clean his where his nose is just a little bit. Sweet, sweet baby boy. We 
want to see him sneezing. That means he's clearing his airway. Already. There we go, number two. Good job, Mama. Oh, there's a face already. My goodness. Oh, my goodness sakes. Look at this. Lord of mercy. It's a girl. It's a girl. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, look at you. Look at you. My goodness, you're a tank. Oh, you come out crying, didn't you? Yes. 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 My goodness. It's a big baby. <laughs> so big. She just... Look at that baby. Goodness sakes. Good job, Maisie. She's Roan. I think he's Roan, too. Sneeze it out, sweetheart. You got it. Wow. Just wow. Okay, guys, I think, I think she's done. These two beautiful kids. My goodness, look at them. Big old kids. One boy, one girl. We're going to get a few things cleaned up and get these babies' navels clipped and dipped and make sure they nurse, and then we'll be back with you. Okay. Okay, everyone. Here's where we're at. She such a good mom. She's not really letting them nurse a whole lot. Um, as soon as they latch on, she kicks them off. But they are getting persistent. I did give them colostrum to get them going, and I will pop some in their mouth every 20 to 30 minutes just to make sure that they're doing fine. But um, they've latched on a few times that I've seen. Whoops, sorry. They've latched on a few times that I've seen and she will get used to it. But I will be watching very, very closely and um, won't allow more than 15 minutes or so to go by without giving them a little something for their bellies. So, anyways, a boy and a girl. This is the little girl. She's so sweet. And there's the little boy back there trying to find the teeth again. So, anyways, I think we're going to close it out. It's been a long day. She had them just fine. I mean, you saw that. There was no issues. The issues have been she's a first freshener, and having them on her teats is very weird to her. So, she just got to get used to it. They've just got to keep being persistent. I've got to be persistent with making sure they get enough colostrum to keep them actively searching for her. So anyways, I'm going to get off of here and just see how they're going. Um, Y'all don't mind. If you don't mind, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we will catch you later. Thank you.